Hey guys and welcome to another video. I'm again with Dawnrim. Hello, hello. Yeah, and yesterday we already played the first two maps of our best of five and we played on Black Forest and we played on Arabia. If you really want to know how these games worked out, you can watch it uh, in my playlist on my channel. But I can tell you so much, uh, we are still standing at one to one. So I won one game and Dawnrim won one game. And so it's all really close still and a very interesting matchup so far. And today we are playing Arena and Nomad. And um, we already figured out that Dawnrim is um, the contester for Arena or the favorite for Arena. And I'm the favorite for Nomad, but that doesn't mean that we have to win. It just means that we see higher likelihoods on those maps to win. But anyways, we will give our best. And I would not surprised if after this day it ends up being 2-2-2. Two -two -two. But we don't know that. <laughs> Maybe it will also end up 1-3 for one side or the other. But anyways, it will probably be some very interesting games. So you've come to the right place if you came for some interesting AOE games. Yeah, and as you can see... Indeed. We... Sorry? I just said indeed. I think indeed, today will yeah. be uh, good. Yeah, and uh, we still have four sifts to choose. In my case, that's the Franks, the Tatar, the Cumans and the Italians. And Dawnrim has also four sifts. In his case, it's the Burmese, the Vietnamese, the Bengalis, and the. One sec, what's the last sif? Malians, I believe. And the Malians, yeah, and the Malians, correct. Yeah, so let's see how we can do this. Um, yeah, and as you could also see already, if you were attentive, um, the chat is back. <laughs> Yeah, I, I give I give Don Rim some some water doors uh, when he entered the lobby. Uh, the, the story the story behind this is that yesterday I was chat suspended. I couldn't write anything because uh, the day before that I had a very bad ally and he was playing like shit. And I was telling him uh, my opinion about his gameplay to open the with some swear words. And um, yeah, the <laughs> Microsoft decided that I need to be chat suspended for 24 hours because I wasn't very friendly in the chat. But uh, to be honest, my ally, um, he basically let me fight two versus one all the time. He didn't make any army and he basically just watched me losing versus two other guys. And uh, you can probably imagine that uh, things like that uh, can make you kind of angry. Um, good, but that, that much about that. Um, is there anything? You want to say uh, before we start the game, Donrim? No, I think we are pretty much ready. Okay. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Yep. Yeah, same to you. Good luck. Have fun. That's important. And I will now uh, get out of the um, Discord stream so that you cannot hear my strategies that I'm elaborating because that would kind of take the sense away from the game. Okay. So see you after the game, yep. buddy. See ya. So, and I was still wondering, what do I pick? Because uh, it's quite obvious that <laughs> we have a water map and so Italians are basically kind of reserved. I think uh, I can see it out openly, uh, even knowing that Don Wim might watch this because um, yeah, Don Wim also knows that uh, Italians is my only option for islands, of course. And um, yeah, so I was basically thinking between uh, Franks and Tatars. Franks because of the cheaper castles and we have format cannons. And Tatars because we simply have better trash and we have really good um, trebuchets and we have also sea trams. And I thought, well, this game might go longer. And as uh, Franks are kind of dependent on gold because you need gold for the X Men and the Paladins, especially. And Tatars have more options uh, with uh, not so much gold and also the Kashik and the, the um, how are we called? The Step Lancers. Uh, we also don't need a lot of gold, so I think in a one versus one without trade, the Tatars are probably the better option. So, that having been said, I think we can start. I'm a little bit hyped. I will either I will either fight Burmese or Vietnamese now, but I think in both cases Tatars might be better because. Uh, the Mies are pretty uh, pretty weak versus uh, archers and Tatars have good Kev archers. 
and uh, the Vietnamese are relatively weak versus um, Hussars and I have extra armor on my Hussars. Yeah, and these things Burmese, I was thinking that <coughs> Burmese either or Vietnamese and I was guessing that um, Burmese is more realistic. And it's zoom in a little bit. So I can click better. We <laughs> have some really The Mies have some really frightening infantry and monks that I have to be um, in the outlook for. Also, you might try to steal the relics because he gets all the upgrades uh, for half the price for the monks. But I can just make some Hassa and spin Hassa and try to uh, get along with, with the monks that he's sending. Actually, I think for this matchup. Uh, the task is much better than Frank's because um, my light cavalry is simply better. I can try to shut down Monk play. The Rack is coming. So, let's pull my gear, uh, aka Ibex, in. I think in a trash game I'm a bit better off because my skirmishers are much better. But then again, his uh, halberdiers are much better because we have plus three extra attack, and also we um, have full armor, and I'm lacking the second and last armor upgrade. But still, I think uh, I think halberdier uh, missing two armor upgrades is still better than uh, generic pikeman without halberdier upgrade, in my opinion. Salam, Emily. Albert, Diamond. Yeah. I think we can already do in the next war and then I can go scouting. I know this build order isn't perfect, I'm wasting a lot of food, uh, but yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, Don Rip and me, we are both advanced players, but it's not like we're professional players, so I'm wasting some uh, resources, it uh, doesn't really matter. But I'm just doing this kind of build order so that my scout can basically uh, be used uh, to, to scout the map. Oh, that's not good, I'm host. Let's get Loom then. I actually didn't want to get Loom in uh, Dark Age, so I can make one more villager, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I have need it anyways later on, so it should be okay, I guess. Don't run scores already much higher. I guess that is probably from scouting. 
I think I will go up with like 26, 27 villagers, something like that. The minerals are relatively close, I could put one mining camp there. I'm a bit surprised he doesn't go to fuel faster because the enemies get the wood uh, upgrade for free. So it would kind of makes sense to do that. Okay, where is this gold? Interesting. What age are you in? Send them down here. <clears throat> I try to also dominate the map a bit with um, like some like cavalry. Let's make a market in Blacksmith first of all. Okay, he probably clicked up because my score is higher than his now. <coughs> Let's make one more villager and then we can go up to the next age. Oh. Rest, please. Let's wait for this blacksmith to finish. Yeah, and then we go up. Castle Edge. my place, you might want to castle drop. I wouldn't like this. But I have three relics close to me, so that's good. Ah. 
I was expecting it. Ah, fuck. Yeah, this cast age was too fast for me. Yeah, we have to wall this now. He's got a main in there, that's not good. Relic's behind this. Yeah, this is not good. This is really not good. This close stage, yeah. Ah, you might be trolling with a small crit, not good. Mm. I don't like this. He wants to make a second cast, huh? I think I can deny this. And he's got all the relics, so that's double bad. Oh, this is slowly going into GG territory. Uh, like this monk. Okay, that's pretty much GG now. That is pretty much GG now. Yeah, the castle age was just too fast for me, and now he will get to imp much sooner than me. I think I can design this. I don't see any chances of winning this anymore. Yeah, and that's how fast it can go. Yeah, that sucks, of course, for me. Losing both mangonels was painful. He probably also had uh, more rest overall collected, I guess. I had more rest collected. Interesting. I will just try, uh, ask him. I maybe mean, should not have resigned, but I think it was ought to resign. Hey man, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah uh, just one question. How much rest do you still have? <clears throat> Oh, I'm scraping the bottom here. Yeah. Um, you mean in the bank right now? Yeah. 
I have 150 food. Uh, I actually have 500 gold and I have 400 stone. So okay. from here, I would probably just um, gone full on gold mm. and then try to buy my way to imp selling the stone. Okay. Get that castle. Yeah, out. it's 266 food <clears throat> and 100 gold. And I think um, you would probably have been uh, faster than me to imp. And even if uh, I was a bit faster than you, which I doubt. I mean, I, I had some more overall rest collected than you. Like it says, I had around 1,000 more food than you. And yeah. more than 1,000 more wood than you because you went in with minimal uh, economy, of course. Yeah, but, tracking of some builds across the map also. But, but, there you go. but I think even if I was faster to Imperial Age, uh, you have two castles, so you can always outproduce me with trebuchets. And uh, you could also make Bombard Cannon if you wanted to. So yeah. I don't see any high chances where I actually took with the task because I thought I can drag the game on for, for longer. But you made a very fast and very aggressive castle there. I, I would have needed like um, uh, like um, some some light cap there, but my stable went up too late, so that was a little bit problematic. And I was also counting on you using monks because of uh, all the tags only costing half. Yeah, and you, now you also had four relics, so I don't think there was much of a chance left. Or did you did you still see see some some chance for me to, of of winning this? Uh, it's tough from here. You obviously do have Valerico, and that will happen when I go forward. Mm. So, um, if you could hold behind that castle, and I think you have to do the same thing as me. Um, you, you can't start farming, it takes too long. You yeah. just have to go full on gold, and then sell to get the imp. Mm. Um, you are... Yeah, your advantage is that you have a better eco, so you could technically get the imp first. Mm. Now I have the relics, so that obviously helps, but um, yeah, I think you just have to hold so I can't just walk, yeah. keep walking with castles. So you need traps, I think. And how many boots? Like mangan, I'll see. Yeah, you can't ram push. That's just out of the question, so it has to be. It has to be traps. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty tough. Oh, it's, I'll it's, it's, probably it's, start it's, targeting your farms. So. Yeah, it says I had five, five more villagers when you, so you had some idle time apparently on your T3. Yeah, um, I'm sure it's possible, but I'm not good enough to to match this perfectly. Like, there's so much wood and gold going into this bush, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's definitely idle time. Okay, next map. Didn't have the food. Uh, yep. so, sorry? No, I just said I, I didn't have the food. Like, yep. I knew... It wasn't just that I overlooked making villagers, like I clicked town center and I didn't have the food. Can you later on uh, teach me how to um, how to be so fast with the castle in, in, in Castle Age and build the castle so fast with build order? Can you teach me this after sure. the game? Yeah, uh, I pretty much did my standard build order. You can see the record, I, I, we can go through it for sure. Okay, I will invite you now and I will make a separate video when for the fourth map. Um, let me just quickly do that. So, there we go. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope <laughs> it was still interesting for you to see me get roasted on Arena. So, yeah, next game is Nomad, as you could see. Um, yeah, I hope Nomad will be um, a longer um, fight and also a more fair fight for, for my side. Yeah, you will see about that. So, at the moment, it's standing um, two versus one in the favor for Dawn Rim. And let's see if I can turn this into a two versus two, which would actually be pretty interesting because if that happened, um, the show match game, the last game, uh, would be uh, the more interesting to watch. Yeah, so stay tuned for that and see you hopefully in the fourth part.